So your energy supplier has offered you a fixed rate tariff, cheaper than the uh, variable rate that we're all on at the moment, cheaper than the price cap. Should you take it? My answer is probably not, probably right now. Here's why. Hi everyone, I'm Richard Winston with Over 50's Money. Um, before we get started, if you could quickly subscribe, like, share the video, turn on notifications. All of these things do help us and the more we, you guys help us, the more we're able to help you. So thank you for doing that. So if you've recently been offered a fixed rate energy tariff, you are probably very excited. It's been a rough couple of years in the energy market and we're all excited to see fixed rate tariffs come back. My cousin mentioned to me on Friday that he'd been offered one um, and he asked me if it was a good deal. And I gave him the most honest answer I could, which is that I don't know. And that's why he shouldn't have accepted it. If I can't tell you if it's a good deal, then, then I can't tell you that you should be taking it. And the reason I can't tell you it's a good deal is because you can't compare prices at the moment. Energy suppliers have started offering fixed rate tariffs again, mostly to their own customers, but some are offering um, whole of market tariffs, but they're not putting them on price comparison sites. Now this is a deliberate move. Not only do they have to pay the price comparison site for the customer when it comes through, but it also means their prices are easily compared to others. And if they're not the cheapest in the market, then they're less likely to get customers. Energy suppliers can tell that it's probably better for them to spend a bit more on their marketing so that everyone knows they're now offering fixed rate tariffs, not have to pay the cost out to a um, price comparison website, and not be compared to other suppliers. So if they've got more marketing budget, they can get more customers because they're advertising more, and they probably have a higher price than some of their competitors. Now, this will only work for a short period of time, and eventually in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, maybe, um, we all expect that energy switching will come back to the market as it was prior to the energy crisis. And this will be great for customers because then you can go online and you can compare all of the prices available to you in your area um, on one website. But as it stands right now, you can't do that. So if you're offered a fixed rate tariff, I would probably warn against it. Once you've signed up for that tariff, and it may be better than the price cap, it may be cheaper than what you're currently paying, but once you've signed up, you are signed in for at least 12 months. Some of them are 24 or even 36 months. And then if prices continue to drop the way they are, or if other su suppliers start offering even cheaper tariffs, you can't go to them because you've signed a contract. The only way to go to them then is to pay an exit fee to your current supplier. So you'd end up paying maybe 50 pounds, maybe 100, could be as high as 200 pounds to your current supplier in order to just leave and get a cheaper deal elsewhere and obviously that exit fee chips away at the amount of money you could be saving elsewhere. I personally think we're in the summer months, so your usage is fairly low. Um, we've got the price cap being reduced by 17% from the 1st of July, so the prices are coming down, and it's probably worth waiting until July, August, maybe as late as September, to see if and when price comparison does come back. If it does, you'll probably find that you can save hundreds of pounds on your energy bill per year, um, and you haven't accidentally got locked in with an energy supplier that's got a fixed rate tariff now, which is cheaper than today's prices, but may not necessarily be cheaper than August's or October's prices. Anyway, that's my advice on this, uh, this piece. I'm, I'm no expert, it's just my opinion. Um, if you have a different point of view, please do leave comments below. Um, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.